is Darren Winterton. I work for ST Microelectronics, and I want to demonstrate uh, a solution on how you can eliminate uh, issues with running our time of flight, uh, where the environment is a very dirty environment, or you have a situation where you want to have no calibration needed in your factory. But before I get into that, I want to give a little bit on our time of flight technology itself. So here we're showing uh, a standard time of flight device. Uh, we have an emitter, um, which is a laser Vixel, uh, transmitting photons. The photons will travel out, hit the target, bounce off it, and come back to our sensor. Uh, knowing the amount of time that the photon traveled, we can calculate down to the millimeter that the photon traveled and give you that distance data. So we have three different products currently available on the open market. Uh, the first one is the VL6180X, the second one is the VL53L0X, and the last one is the VL53L1X. Uh, they, they all have different range of capabilities from uh, 10 or 20 centimeters all the way out to 4 meters. So depending on the application, uh, we, we should be able to have a device ranging to the needs that you need. Just getting into uh, the issue of a dirty environment, this is showing a cross-section of our part um, in, in a typical system. You do need a cover glass with our device, and the cover glass is to protect our device from getting dirt on it, um, and also to protect it just from wear and tear. The issue is um, when the green line shows how a photon should be traveling, a photon should go right through the glass, hit a target, and come back. The issue that you might have, especially if you have a dirty environment, is the photon will actually leave our device and bounce within the glass, or hit the dirt and then bounce within the glass, and back to our receiver. This will cause a very short distance to be seen instead of the actual target distance that you want to see. So to test out uh, first a standard cover glass that people are using today, you can see right now that uh, I have the VL6180X ranging and if I put my hand over it, you can see it's ranging just fine. It's a very clean cover glass. If we start putting some debris on it, uh, the problem that we're gonna have is that you can see here with a lot of debris, it's seeing a very short target. It's showing a target of less than two centimeters. I put my hand on it, it's, it affects it, but I take my hand away and it's still seeing the dirty cover glass. If we blow off the debris, now you can see that it's running just fine and it's ranging my hand. So this is an example of how a dirty cover glass um, uh, with a, using a single piece of glass uh, can cause problems. The proposal that we have is showing where we're putting uh, an opaque barrier or divider between the transmitter and the receiver. So the green photons, uh, the ones that we want to hit our target and come back, uh, they still operate just as they were before. But now in the new solution, we're actually using two pieces of glass um, and, and the divider in between. So when a photon leaves and hits either the dirt or the top of the glass, instead of bouncing through the glass and back to the receiver, it's going to be hitting the barrier and either being absorbed or bounced away out in the atmosphere, and our device sees none of these erroneous photons causing a short distance. To give you a better visual of the actual uh, holder for the cover glass, this is a 3D step model, which is available uh, from ST, where if I start rotating, you can start seeing how the device is working, where you have a hole for both the transmitter and the receiver. On the bottom side, you have the hole uh, for the part to fit in, and then the light blocker uh, in the middle. Now if we switch to our new cover glass holder, we put it on and you can see, again, uh, with no debris, I can put my hand on it and it's ranging just fine. We start adding debris and you can see it's still seeing infinity. I put my hand and it's ranging just fine. We can keep getting it more and more dirty. And again, I put my hand and it's ranging my hand just fine. I take my hand away, it sees infinity. And now I'll make it super filthy. So again, it's still seeing infinity. I put my hand and it's still ranging my hand and I can still range up to about uh, a little over three centimeters. So this is an example how this uh, divider between two pieces of cover glass can easily remove crosstalk, giving you perfect uh, operation uh, in a very dirty environment. If you have any more questions uh, on this technology, please visit our website at www.st.com or contact your local sales representative and they'll be happy to help you out with any questions you might have. Thank you and have a good day.